Hello friends, this is Surya Padhi. Let us talk another important topic on S4 HANA 1809 Group Reporting. I am a Chartered Accountant. I have 25 years of experience, 8 years in domain and 17 years in SAP Consulting. I authored two SAP FIC book. I work as a Finance Solution Architect. I am a subject matter expert in SAP Financial Accounting and Controlling as well as uh, business object planning and consultation in different versions of it. So today's topic is consolidation chart up account. Like you might have heard different other chart up account like operational chart up account, group chart up account, and this is another version of the chart up account which is used for the consolidation. So these are the screens from SAP GUI and we can create a chart-up account, consolidation chart-up account from SAP GUI. Although SAP has provided one chart-up account that is called Y1 and SAP suggests to use it or adopt it. Adopting means that we can create our own consolidation chart-up account by copying from Y1. And if you click on the first rectangle that is a cons chart of account master data, you can see the attribute of the chart of account that is it says that the output of the financial statement item should be uh, should be 10 character long. And if you click on the FS item, then we've uh, we will get uh, this screen where we can see the FS items. It is similar to GL account or in fact it is the GL account and used for uh, a consolidation purpose and is called FS item. And uh, if you click on the first entry and uh, system will allow you to change it or edit it, the FS item. And if you click on any of the FS item, then we will get the subsequent screen and which depicts the attribute of the GL account, the attribute of the FS item. If you select here, if you see that okay, all the FS item are categorized, whether it is asset account or it is a liability equity account or it is income statement account or it is a statistical account. And uh, like in operational chart up account, you might have seen that field status group and which controls what is the allowable field and what is the default fields, all the, all the stuff. And uh, the same kind of functionality we have in the breakdown category. And breakdown category controls what are the input required for this FS item. Let us move on and uh, so this is one of the theory of it's called manage global accounting hierarchies. You can see that the FS items are organized in a hierarchy based on the reporting requirement. And this is the one of the hierarchy for the balance sheet. And if you see the highest note is the balance sheet and below it, we have a liability and equity and asset accounting. And this is another app called financial statement line item where we can see all the FS item. And if you double click on any of the FS item, then we can see the attributes of an FS item, what we have seen earlier in SAP GUI. So let us move to system and I want to show you how uh, it looks like in the system. Now I am on SAP Fury apps and if you go to the consultation master data and if you see here financial statement line item, just double click on it. It will open the report and enter here the Y1 chart up account that is what SAP has provided and you can see it go. 
So these are the FS item we have near about 365 FS items and the first FS item is case in hand uh, the case on hand so double click on it and you can see the attribute of the FS item so this is the case on hand and it is the asset account this is one of the attribute used for the currency translation and this is the maximum selection that is maximum selection controls what uh, how many number of sub item and what are the sub item allowed to select uh, when entering a transaction and uh, the breakdown category field this is the same field what we can see here okay let us move on to another app I am in the consultation master data and uh, here you can see okay manage global accounting hierarchies you see here the all the FS items are grouped under various hierarchies for the reporting purpose and So this is used to prepare the financial statement item, financial statement reports. What I have shown here earlier, balance sheet, and uh, balance sheet under the balance sheet FS items are grouped in the liabilities and equities. And you can, if you want to see more, you can you can expand it. So this is the total equity total liability total equity is further subdivided into the non-controlling interest and the equity attributable to owner of the parent similarly if you go back and here you can go to the consolidation reporting items and here so this is a hierarchy used for the statement of equity and if you see here whatever required for the statement of equity are organized in a hierarchy way and in fact these are the separate account outside of the financial statement uh, FS item these are differently designed only to prepare the statement of equity if you see that SCE that is state statement of equity let us see another group and go to X2 this is another hierarchy designed for the statement of cash flow that is the region the FS items are organized uh, SCF that is been statement of cash flow and it start with the uh, what is called the profit and loss that is uh, current unit income then we will add deduct the other things to generate the cash flow so it is uh, just I want to make here the clear Consolidation chart-up account is the not the same as operational chart-up account and in operational chart-up account we have GL in consolidation chart-up account we have FS item in operational chart-up account we have free status group in consolidation chart-up we have breakdown category so to create to edit to uh, manage the hierarchy we use SAP GUI as well as the Fury as for the operational chart up account but in case of the consolidation chart up account only we have to use SAP Fury and if you want to create your own new consolidation chart up account SAP suggests to follow a KBA that is 265 
let us move to SAP GUI so I am navigating to SPRO where we can see the configuration steps go to the master data here we have defined consultation chart up account they have give like operational chart up account they have the given here a three uh, activity or the three transaction to create change and display let us go to display and uh, this is the sap provided consultation chart up account and click on the con chart then we will see that fs item maximum length that is 10 character and if you click fs item and we can see the fs item here and uh, if you click any of the things here then it will allow us to change the description and if you want to create the fs item you can create doing the first entry and if you double click on f any of the fs item it shows that attribute of the fs item and this is so this is uh, a asset account that is case on hand and we have fs item type and we have um, here the category of fs item and like fill status group we have the breakdown category here and if you double click here if you double click here it will go to the breakdown category and what is the allowed and what is how it is being configured it is just like a free status group in operational chart up account if you want to know more you can go here and go for the print and it will come off the selection screen go and execute it and it you will see a summary of all the fs item listed in a consultation chart up account and double click any of the fs item and you will get the attributed attribute of it so this is fs item this is uh, my version and this is the borrowings and the breakdown category assigned to it is i1 i00 and the breakdown category and the sub item it is being populated based on the breakdown category Now you can see the course in how to adapt SAP provided chart up account for the customer requirement. This is a great question. And if you could answer it, that will help you a lot to deploy, to adopt the SAP provided consultation chart of account. And it could be your rapid development plan. Thank you very much for watching this video and here are my contact information you can email me and you can also ping me in the linkedin i hope you liked it have a wonderful day thank you